There he is. Isolated docks. That's the deal. Welcome back to MFO, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Got lucky. It's an 80 degree day out here. Uh, day before Halloween, maybe two days before Halloween, got a chance to get out on the water. And one of the things that I noticed being out here is that a lot of folks are pulling in their docks. And so there are a lot fewer docks on the lake than there have been in just a couple of weeks ago. When we come back, we'll talk about how that can work to your advantage. Stick around. Welcome back to Mark Fisher Outdoors, everybody. I'm Mark Fisher. Hey guys, I appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button. The information that we give out Monday through Friday, we hope you find that useful. We want you to catch a few more fish every time you go out. We want you to share your stories and your comments, and we'd love it if you could hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, send your comments in. So guys, being out here today, one of the things I noticed is that, boy, people are pulling in their docks left and right. Well. What that does, again, it's just like anything else that we've talked about. The few docks that are still out there, they become more specific targets because there are just fewer out there. Fewer places when you're in the sun for those fish to hang out underneath a dock. And so what it ends up doing is concentrating those fish in those docks, on those docks that are in good areas now again that doesn't mean that every dock is going to hold fish but boy you know when when the docks are coming in it's it's a good thing to hit the docks that are still out there especially if those have been docks that have hit you know that have been producers earlier on in the season don't be surprised if you don't get multiple fish out of one dock because they're starting to congregate on those docks. The other thing that I really want to talk about is that on a lake like Lake Geneva here, these docks are put in with cribs. There are big stone cribs that hold the pier pilings in place. Those cribs still hold fish even if there's not a dock on them. What I noticed as I'm going through this morning when the sun was low and it was coming in on an angle is that those cribs, and those cribs are probably two feet you know, off the bottom, they provide a vertical piece of cover and a shaded area where, where there's rocks, there's wood, and there's a good clean bottom underneath it um, where those fish can still hang out near those cribs and by those cribs so those are still areas that you can throw you can you can throw a little spider grub you could throw a, a cinco you could throw a moving bait you know right now it's 80 degrees so i'm not worried too much about cold front but those are the kinds of things that those fish will get up tight to cover kind of like that uh episode that i talked about before if those if those cribs that's that's vertical cover that those fish will get tight to and and stay next to if you got a cold front coming that's not what we got going on today but so pay attention to when they're pulling out those docks look for the cribs or the the the, the boxes that those docks get put on after the dock is gone but pay attention to those docks that are still in the water for a potential where they congregate those fish uh, because there's just not as many docks on the lake at this time of year. There he is.
appreciate it if you send me your comments. We'd love to hear from you. And as always, stick around tomorrow for another episode of Mark Fisher Outdoors. Take care, everybody.